HMS Montrose firing the anti-ship Harpoon missile off the northwest coast of Scotland last week. This US-made system has been fitted in 600 ships worldwide, fewer and fewer of which are British. The days when Britannia ruled the waves are long over. At the end of the Second World War, the Royal Navy had 262 major ships and submarines, employing nearly half a million people. Now the Royal Navy has shrunk to 80 warships and submarines, with 34,000 personnel. Retired naval officer John Muxworthy saw great change over his 32 years in service. He's concerned the modern Navy is just too small. In 1960 when I joined, there were 12 aircraft carriers, 30 cruisers, 150 frigates and destroyers. Now we will only have 19 frigates and destroyers. We are a shadow of our former selves. It's a shame because we are the best Navy in the world, but we're becoming one of the smallest. But how do we compare to other countries? Well, our nearest neighbours, France, have 10,000 more personnel, but five fewer ships than us. As for China, they have 68 submarines, that's four times as many as we do. But the biggest navy in the world is, unsurprisingly, the US. They've got almost 10 times as many people as the Royal Navy, and a massive 283 fighting ships and submarines. We clearly need to keep the US on side, but a smaller fleet doesn't mean we're not a force to be reckoned with. Under construction are two of the largest warships ever built in the UK, at a cost of £5.9 billion. HMS Queen Elizabeth is three times the size of HMS Illustrious and will enter service in 2018. Tom Gifford from BAE Systems has given us a preview. All the pieces that have come here have been built in seven different shipyards, all indoors, and the whole idea now is putting it together in the assembly yard. So we're talking about 78 million man hours to put the whole job together. The flight deck's over 300 meters long and it's 70 meters high from the keel to the flight deck. And then there's another 26 meters when you put the island on top of that. So as you can see in the facility and the crane and everything else, we're talking about a, a very big piece of structure. The ships are getting bigger, but overall, the Navy recognise it's got much smaller. But they say the reduced budgets just mean they have to be smarter with the resources they have. The Navy is uh, the right size for the tasks that we're asked to do, uh, wherever that be around the world, within the Gulf, the Middle East. Um, the Navy is very different to the Navy of the Second World War, which was a Navy which was involved in a full-scale war. At the moment, that's not the case. So what we're asked to do, we have a Navy the size to do that.